Overwatch 2 New Heroes Starting with my personal favorite Kiriko Kaimori Or in the traditional Japanese tongue Yamori Kiriko Shout out Google Translate Kiriko Kaimori is from Japan And she received ninja training from her mother AKA her Hahoeya And also she received Spirit Fox training From her grandmother AKA her Sobo Based on the video and a little bit of reading Her background seems to be of deep and rich family tradition She's a thoroughly trained warrior Driven to protect those that she loves And sworn to protect her community One thing I truly loved about the cinematic that we got Was the modern themes infused with traditional Japanese origins I'm glad that they didn't try to make everything seem so ancient, yet they made it seem somewhat futuristic. I thought it was amazing how they were able to blend the ancient aspects of traditional Japanese culture, but also add a modern flair to it. Absolutely well done. This truly helps us to connect with the character even more, knowing that she's dealing with gun violence rather than some ancient mysterious monster. I thought that theme was done really well and I think it really taps into the core of what it means to be a true servant of your community. And of course all of us aren't superheroes like Kiriko is. It just taps into the human nature and it shows the other things that can be done without requiring superhuman abilities. Her practicing sign language, all these little details just really added to the richness and the depth of the backstory. This is her main equipment in Overwatch 2. Being a natural healer and imbued with the powers of the spirit fox passed on from her grandmother she has as her main heal the healing ofuda which ofuda means talismans in japanese so yes yeah, she throws healing talismans basically sacred script written on paper that heals teammates next up she's a ninja so naturally she has kunai the kunai are thrown projectiles with increased critical hit damage so that means those headshots are even more deadly also in the spirit of ninjutsu she has her swift step which teleports her directly to a friendly target of her choice next up she has a protection suzu which is bell in japanese hell i didn't even know it was a bell personally i called it the immortality grenade but what her protection suzu does is grants allies invulnerability for a brief second while also cleansing almost all negative effects in the game now i have yet to experience Experience what negative effects it doesn't cleanse but I would imagine it doesn't cleanse negative effects that pin you to the wall such as javelins from a furious tank that I know of finally we have her alt which is the kitsune rush kitsune means fox in Japanese she summons a fox spirit that rushes forward and any allies that stay within the path of that fox spirit including herself they gain increased movement speed increased attack speed also they experience cooldown reductions which means their cooldowns refresh faster also in the spirit of ninjutsu one of her unique passive abilities is that she can wall climb i mean hell can you really call yourself a ninja if you can't wall climb Overall, Kiriko is one of my favorite healers in the game. I'm just sad that we can't use her in ranked yet. I cannot wait until we can use her for ranked. Her healing Ofuda are really, really powerful. While overall, there are healers who will most certainly out heal her. The Ofuda gives a great burst of healing. So it's really good for keeping your allies above half health because you can easily drop the healing Ofuda on multiple teammates at one time. Her kunai make her almost invaluable to any team as she can easily snipe tanks with back-to-back -back headshots. This is vital because there are times where the DPS will be focusing other DPS and the support absolutely does need to make a difference on their team. And while there are other supports that will vastly out damage Kiriko, her specialty is not necessarily in doing damage but in executing or finishing low health enemies. Without hitting headshots, the kunai do great damage but headshots do increase critical strike damage that will one tap almost any player in the game once they're less than 50% health. The swift step is absolutely phenomenal as it helps her clear long distances after a respawn or when used to escape fatal damage i truly believe the swift step is one of the most powerful evasion abilities in the game a protection suzu is also extremely powerful in combination with the swift step you can swift step to your tank throw the protection suzu throw your healing ofuda and from there your tank should be close to full health even if they're in the middle of taking damage her ultimate ability is really almost invaluable for pushing objectives as it gives your team a huge increase in movement and attack speed so with this 
allows is for your friendly tank and DPS to simply overwhelm the front lines or even jump to the back lines, potentially killing healers. Her wall climb ability is also great for evading damage, but it's really best used for getting up to high ground position. Unless there's a Widow or a Pharah on the enemy team, they really don't have too many ways to combat high ground position. So just like Anakin Skywalker, there still just aren't that many heroes that can effectively manage a losing position from the low ground. Over Anakin! I have the high ground! Overall, Kiriko is by far my favorite healer in the game. I cannot wait to use her in rank so I can get some of them cool nine headshots, man. Salute to all my future Kiriko mains out there. Hope you found this information helpful. Stay tuned for the next Overwatch breakdowns and I'll see you on the battlefield.